Hi, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I thought we'd do a fantastic little painting. Maybe that's maybe it's deep in the woods and it's very dark and misty, and I think you'll enjoy that. All right, tell you what, let's use a little phthalo blue. A little phthalo blue. We'll pick up a little sap green. So we have phthalo blue and sap green. So just sort of dance this around, twirl it, let it play. Don't get it too even. We want it to be dark in areas and light in areas and use a lot of pressure in places and no pressure in places. A lot of pressure and no pressure. Just make all these little different things happen. Just like so. Just like so. A little more color on the brush. And we'll just cover the whole top of the canvas like this. Really push hard when you want it to be darker and then where you want it light, just let it caress the canvas. Just very gentle and very soft. And then every once in a while you can get tough and just grind it in. See, it makes a nice dark spot. That's blue, that's thalo blue, and sap green. Just mix on the brush. There, I want a little darker right in there. And you don't care where this goes. Just let it, just let it blend down and play. Wherever, wherever it makes no difference. Okay. Now then, let me wash the brush. And we wash your brush with odorless thinner. Now if you tried blending that, it would smear. So take your knife, come right up here and watch. Take your knife and just go whoop, take it right off. The value or the color remains in the canvas. Now you can come along here and see, you can blend that. And that easy, that easy, you have a happy little sun. All right, and that completes our sky. It's a little house right there. So I'll take some, some of the Van Dyke Brown, cut across, and get a little roll of paint on my knife. There you can see, right out on the edge is most important, and it's right out on the edge of the knife. Let's go up here. Okay, maybe the little house lives does now, right there. There it is. See? Paint that little back eave first. I'll tell you what. Zoom. Put a front on him. A little front. Front on the other side. See? Just sort of, in your mind, think, think what a house looks like. And he needs a little side over here, too. Boy. All right. Now, then. Take a little white and a little brown. Pull it out very flat, get us a little roll of paint. And let's, let's put the least little touch of highlight on there. Barely touching, barely touching. Just caress the canvas. Okay, now. See, we can see that the light's coming from here. So this side's gonna be a brighter, this one over here. This one's gonna be almost dark, almost pure brown. Don't worry about too much color over on that side. Boy, that <laughs> the guy that lives in there is freezing because there is no roof on his house. Let's give him a roof. Let's give him a roof. There we go. Just that easy. Now he's got a half a roof. Let's feel sorry for him and give him the other half. Don't want him to freeze. Okay, a little snow on the other side. Just sort of bring all that together. Isn't that easy? We got a little cabin. Need a door. Don't want him to get locked in there and can't get out all winter. There, you got a little door. Take a little white. Go around the edges. There, make that rascal stand out. I'm gonna take the small knife now. I'm gonna put a little window right there. Just a little blue and white. Just to give the indication of a happy little window. Okay, we're on a chimney. We we'll use a small edge of the small knife again. Put a little chimney. Take a little, tiniest little touch of the bright red. Excuse my arm there. Maybe he don't have his fireplace lit. A little snow laying up here on his chimney. There we go. That easy. I tell you what. Take a little bit of the liquid. We can fix up the foot of this cabin. Take and work on your perspective. Look at there. You can just cut it right off wherever you want it. Wherever you want it. Take a little white, a little touch of blue. And I'm going to mix up 
Let's take some of that phthalo blue, a little sap green, and I'm going to reach right over here, grab a little touch of white, a little more to the bluish side. There we go. So that's phthalo blue, sap green, touch of white. I'm going to add a little black, it's too bright. Too bright. A little more white so we can see what we got. Good, good. There. Now, I'm going to take the knife and a little bit of white, a little brown, and we can take some dark brown, come right in here, and just begin adding all kinds of little little foots on these stones. Just bring them straight down. If you get a little that in the water, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, can fix easy. See? Just all kinds of little little things. Now then, let me find my family. Charity organizations for them to make a happy buck with. So, if you would like to have one, one of the easiest ways to get it is to call your PBS station and say, hey, you know, get one of Bob's paintings for your next auction and we'll be glad to donate one to them. And it helps everybody out. You get better programming that way in the PBS station. <clears throat> he puts a happy buck in his pocket, and you get a, you get a painting. So keep that in mind if you want one. Just let your station know. Just drop in a few little blue and white grassy areas here. <clears throat> All kinds of little things going on in here. There we go. Now then, let's start, let's start picking out some stones and rocks. You use some dark sienna here and a little bit of white. And maybe, maybe right along in here, we're beginning to see some, some nice rocky areas. Still want this to stay quite dark. Quite dark. All kinds of things happening. I'll tell you what, let's do that up here. Now watch here, watch here. This is so much fun because now you can make a decision that there's a big cliff or a sheer drop off right here, a bank. That's the word I'm looking for. And you can just bring that around and leave this right in front. You can make all kinds of little things that go up in there, like so. Let's have some fun. Now, sometimes some of these stones get just full of little grassy and mossy things. So just tap, tap all kinds of little things. Now then, I tell you what, let's use a knife. Maybe there's what remains. There is an old fence right here. There's a post. Put one there. I'll tell you what, three. Three looks better. A little bit of brown and white for some highlight. Doop, doop. There we go. Maybe there's still one old, one old post that's hanging across there. Just like that. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take a little brown. This is just straight Van Dyke brown. And let's start making some decisions. Maybe there's some land that lives back here. Just, all I'm doing here is just pushing in some color. Just like so. Just a little color. No big deal right now. No big deal. We'll take a little white. A little white, a little, little dark sienna. Pull it out, cut us off a little bit, then barely touch. Just put the indication of a little highlight here and there. I don't want too much. This is too far back. It's too dark back in here. It's too dark. Now then, we'll use a uh, old number six fan brush. I'm gonna go right into some yellow. I went into the the liquid white first, going into some yellow, reach up here and grab some sap green over here and a little bit of black. There. I want, want this to be quite dark. A little yellow ochre to it. Let's mix these on the brush. And then, if you lived here, you'd have to have a way to get over this little stream. So, let's do that. Let's have some fun. I'll take some Van Dyke Brown. I'll use the old knife here. Let's just put the Quick little indication here of a little tree trunk in there. Doop, doop, doop. It's like that. A few little limbs here and there. A little brown and white. A little highlight. Just a tiny.
tiny touch of highlight. You take just a pointed knife, look at there, scrape through and make all kinds of little doers in there. Little limbs and stems and twigs. It's just that easy. Okay. Now then, let's find, let's find. Maybe there's a happy little bridge here. And I tell you what, maybe it's behind these bushes and all you can see is the part that goes over the water. So let's have it come up and then maybe like this. We'll put some character in it. And then it has a little bend in it. There. Let me get the small knife. The small knife will do a little better for that. I'll put some little post on here. See, there's a little post. There's one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? There we go. That one goes over behind the bush. Then take the big knife. I we'll have to put a little rail up here. We don't, we don't want anybody to fall off this bridge and get wet. See there? I knew you could do that. A little brown and white, tiniest little bit of paint. Now I want to go along here and just show the indication of a little highlight here and there. Just to brighten him up, make him sing in the sunshine. There used to be a song about singing in the sunshine. Okay, back to my small knife. And I'll put a little indication here on these posts. Little knife gets right in there and does these little things. There. Yeah, maybe here and there the light really hits it. You could add a little, just a little sparkle of white. Just don't overdo. Just here and there. Maybe the light's zinging through there and hits right there too. Let's put a little touch of highlight on this tree. There. Just barely touch. Give it a little pull. Just let the paint grab. This is a thick, thick paint. So it'll grab and hang on. Maybe this one comes right down in front. I can. See there? You can just make all the trees you want in your world. Okay. Now then. 